Sea of Thieves is known as the extraordinary chest of fortune, replacing the chest of legends both in value, pride, and money. It turned adventure mode into a full out battlefield, everyone focusing on their one chest, the chest of fortune. People would leave an entire vault's worth of loot for this one chest, and this is why the chest of fortune is ruining Sea of Thieves. Let me explain. At the start of season 9, everyone and their dogs are sofa hopping for Fall of Fortunes to get this incredible chest of fortune. Being double the value of the chest of legends, as well as contributing to a super rare ship set, there was no reason not to risk it all for this chest. And here lies the problem. While everyone would focus after the special chest, all the rest of the loot was left to rot. Servers with other world events were continuously merged because everybody kept only wanting the one world event. This created a huge problem in the community and if you were lucky to even get into one of these servers, the chance of getting your hands on this chest was near to none. But this is why Sea of Thieves is fun, right? Risking it all for a massive reward and betraying alliances is incredibly fun and exciting, but doing this heaps of times now is just boring. And that's where I bring myself to the second point, the month after the update. Seeing videos on YouTube and streamers talking about Fall of Fortunes at the launch of the season was so exciting and brought the life back to adventure mode. But now, after a month of continuous YouTube videos about this one chest, there's no wonder why YouTubers are struggling for content at the moment. With the very minimal additions to Season 9, you get up to a point where it's boring to pull off these heists and watch people doing so, which brings the game's players down drastically. Every Sea of Thieves YouTuber has made at least one video about his chest and stealing it, including me, please subscribe. Some YouTubers even multiple times, and seeing this as your only Sea of Thieves content is incredibly boring. So boring in fact that streamers and YouTubers have gone back to Season 8's PvP mode because of the lack of content that the Chest of Fortune brings. And this takes me to my final point, the movement of the Chest of Fortune. So to contradict some of the points of my boring aspect of repeated steals of the Chest of Fortune, Rare have announced that they are moving the location of the Chest of Fortune each season, which is both good and bad for the game. Let's start with the positive side first. It will keep the world events fresh and different. That's basically it. This is going to create the exact same problem of repetitiveness and ignorance of other world events. Without the Chest of Fortune in the Fort of Fortune, it's going to make it a waste of time, just like the other world events. With the Chest of Fortune changing every season, which is a crazy long amount of time, it's not going to matter if there are no extra rewards for getting more of these chests. But you can't just take it from me, so I've compiled a couple streamers to show their opinion about this topic. Uh, I was wondering, I what do you think the Chest of Fortune, seeing as it's not very prominent anymore? Uh, I think it it's just rough. I think it's so dumb rough. how they're moving it. Like, every I think season. everything. Emon, I think my opinion. So I got my 30 pretty early, right? And it was like, okay, cool. They don't really matter to me anymore because I don't have the cosmetic. I think going into it, I thought this is going to be the new Chest of Legends. Everyone's going to think it's really cool. It's going to be awesome to fight over. But. Since having my 30 chests, I've only had one fight, which I would say was actually like fun, where it was everyone's trying to get the chest and jumping off each other's boats, and that was last night. But aside from that, that I think the hype's really um, died off. So this brings me to how I think Rare can solve this massive issue in the Sea of Thieves. Firstly, Rare needs to make more content for people to enjoy. The update that just came out has added a total of two things, Port Merit, which is just Golden Sands with a different name and more Emporium stuff. Like bro, what? Like, Rare wants people to play their game, and they add nothing in a month. Like, that is crazy awful. Adding new things will make the game feel fresh and new, having more content for streamers and YouTubers instead of giving them absolutely nothing. My second point is that although moving the chest is a great idea, doing it regularly to keep the content and game fresh would be so easy. Adding it to the monthly updates will make it even more fun to switch up locations instead of every 4 to 6 months. And the final thing Rare can do is add more rewards for getting these chests. The reason why Season 8 was so good was the fact that people had something to grind for, not something that would take a few hours to grind out. And that's it. Of course, this is my own opinion and you're welcome to share yours in the comments, but Rhea really needs to think of the long jeopardy of the chest of fortune. Thank you. <laughs> Firstly, Rhea needs to make more people- oh, more.